Hey guys, my name is Thiago Porto and I'd like to show you the quick demo that I did here in New York for the Flame user group. I think there is cool techniques and workflows that especially to work between teams or different others. So uh, I'm going to try to show you here uh, those, those techniques. Also, uh, thank you, I would say thank you very much for Andy and team for the great, great uh, uh, work they did for make the flame user happen it's so good to see it and there is such a good energy on that so guys thank you very much it was really fun to be there and thanks for the invite as well it's we it, it is really special so uh okay let's move on okay so first of all uh i have three quick demos it's the first one it's about the ai rotobot thing and how that works and uh, my discoverings and things. So I think it's interesting just to 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 have that in flame in the first place, but also how we can have quick rough rotos to play around. So it's really powerful in my opinion, and that's the first demo. The second demo it's about a workflow that I've been working on and myself between Nuke and Flame. Uh, I'm I really like to use Nuke and also Flame together and. The, I'm using Pybox and in a different way to make that happen. So on that workflow, it's really good because it seems seamless. It seems just one single software. So we don't, I don't need to, it's like a flame environment, uh, but with different tools and different buttons. So for me, it looks just one single thing because of that. So that that's what makes Pybox powerful. And that's how I want to try to show you guys the third one it's uh, it's a little bit more complex but also really cool which is about uh, the new plugin for Nuke called Eddy uh, Eddy is really powerful plugin to do particles and simulations on GPU uh, especially if you if you have RTX cards uh, for NVIDIA and it's really really powerful plugin uh, and uh, what I built for me, it was a, a workflow using Pybox so I can continue working in Flame. I can render and batch, I can change lights and batch, and uh, I can do stuff, continue doing stuff. So let's say if uh, I'm working something, someone was working Eddy and make some simulations that's being approved, then, but now I'm working different background or different matte painting or the clients change the grade, whatever, we can and still in flame quickly change the light and the look of the render of those particles and make that uh, inside batch. So I don't need even go uh, out of flame to play around. So that I think it's really also really powerful workflow and that's, uh, that's I want to try to show you guys. So guys, this was my last demo of the night. It was about Eddy simulations. Uh, Eddy is a super cool plugin uh, that does particle simulations, fire, and all in GPU in Nuke. It's super cool to use it, super fast. And what I built here for me was a workflow using Pybox. And with Pybox, uh, I add some controls to using batch. So the idea here was about uh, control the render, the look, and the light. Uh, because uh, we can change the background, we can change the light, you know, you can change the grades. And uh, after that, uh, we quickly can can go on our render from the particles and change the look. Even uh, the environment for shading uh, uh, I'm using from from the from flame from batch I think is a cool technique uh, to use it you know, so I want to try to show you what I built for me and I think it's a good idea of how it can work on that workflow so let's move to batch here uh, what I have here it just uh, shot in the background nothing crazy about this background it's just a frame just to show you uh, uh, the idea the only thing on this background is important to notice is the direction light coming from the right side of the frame uh, so with that light uh, I'm fitting the environment node 
and uh, also have the same light direction uh, on the particle setup. So as you can see here, we have more light on the right side of the render. So, and this is actually render here in, in batch, so you still have control. Uh, it's not like a request. So what I'm going to show you here, it's how, how I can open that from the beginning so you can see it. So again, I'm using the same pie box that I did for the other demo. It's exactly the same thing, nothing changed specifically. Uh, and now I'm loading uh, the Nuke script that uh, has the edit simulation. And, and now you can see it's now rendering in batch. So, so this is really cool because now we still, because you are rendered here, so you can still change things. It's not like bacon and uh, EXR or whatever. So that's why I think this is really powerful workflow and super cool to use it in our comps. So as you can see here, I'm gonna try to jump to another frame so we can see more. This is rendered right now actually, so this is live. There is no editing on the video. So you can see that's tons of particles going on here. And uh, okay, so let's, again, it's rendered live. So it's being affecting from the background here from the batch and also for the lights that I built first. Uh, so let's say we need change the background. So let's say now we change the grades. In this case here, I'm changing the position of the light. So the light now is coming from the left. So as you can see, and you render again. Let's render this quickly. So you see now the direction light is wrong. But I don't want to flip my render. I want to actually fix the light to match my new background. So I don't need to even going back to Nuke. I can just play with those controls because this is the control that I add here for controlling my light. Uh, as you can see, I'm changing the light so to trying to match what I did for the new background. So, and this this controls here, you can add a nuke. Uh, the control that you want to do it. so it don't need to be any specifically that's why the names kind of weird names right now because you can just select some nodes and say like this I want to be in flame so that's exactly what I did here I'm gonna try to change the position of those particle simulations so we already have the simulation so what I'm trying to do here is just change the positioning so I'll try to rotate a little bit so we can visually see that this is really this is really cool in my opinion because you can see that how fast and uh, how uh, creative decision can still be done and here in batch even uh, it's a really uh, really heavy particle simulations going on in the background so again uh, I will change the background again to uh, the other side so the light's gonna be wrong again you could do a lot of uh, color correcting stuff of course but the main goal here was actually control the real light that's been affecting on the shading of those particles so that's why I think it's really cool and uh, what I'm doing here it's actually changing again the position of the light so I can match my new background Like I say, this option is actually up to the person that it's building, uh, that it's uh, building the new script. So we can go and each uh, control for each node and just add like a slider control to flame. So that's why uh, the names are incorrectly here. It's just because I was like choosing and select some uh, sliders to play and flame. So I could add even more if I wanted to. I'm also rendering the alpha channel of those particles. So I have the alpha, of course, and uh, I, I, instead of rendering the background together with those particles, I can just now comp and uh, against 
uh, another background and don't and not be uh, stuck and uh, and what it nuke is rendering so uh, this is just like an action fitting with the alpha channel so we can build that I will jump to another frame here so we can easily uh, see those particles with more particles and more simulations going on so you just need some time to render this is the new frame as you can uh, one inter interesting thing here is my background. It's actually it's actually using I'm using on the environment node on the simulation. So all the particles, uh, all the shading is being affected because of the background. So this is really cool because uh, the, uh, we can change the environment as well and uh, have more tones of the background, not just color correcting later. So let's jump to Nuke so I can see, I can show you quickly how I built that. So as you can see here, you have the environment node being feeding from flame. So you can change the environment nodes also for affect the color. And I'm using some Autodesk control and link those values to control uh, the, the Eddy nodes. Uh, the shading here is being affected, of course, by the environment node, also by the position of the lights. You can also actually add controls in the camera if you want. And here my render rendering back to flame. So I'm rendering RGB and an alpha. And that's what you got here on the pipe box. And here we go. Like I said, the background is being fit in the environment, so we can easily see how those shadows and the particles, how those uh, mid-tones are matching the background already because of the environment map being used in Natty. And I think this is really, really cool. You can see how all the all the things that we change in batch, the lighting are control, and still have this look and render in the first step, it's really cool to start comping those against our background in our shot. So guys, that's it. That was my uh, third demo of the night. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, and again, thank you very much, Andy and team, for for making that happen. It was it was really really cool to be there, and also really really cool to see how nice people are on those events and those flame user groups. So so thank you very much, all. See you next time. Bye.